everyone, it's Cupcake here. Today we are making LOL shoes. We already made an LOL t-shirt and I thought what else could match our little custom LOL t-shirt better than some custom LOL shoes. And we're gonna top it off with a custom LOL giant bow. Now this is a kid size shoe. It looks really big on camera, but it's a size six in kids. Basic white shoes that I found at Hobby Lobby. They're, oh, I don't know. They're wearable art shoes. So you can customize them any way you want. So I've got my workstation set up, I've protected my tabletop, and I'm pretty much ready to start. Snip this part off, and I'm gonna take these shoelaces off. Okie doke. So, I'm gonna brainstorm a design. Oh, maybe we can use some of this color shift paint. We'll have the coolest shoes ever because they'll be color shifting. So on the top here is how it's supposed to look. It's super cool. So I'm gonna try it out on a little spot on the shoe and see if it works that way on fabric. So it's not really color shifting on our shoe. Let's play with some fabric spray paint and do some splotches and see how that looks. Hopefully it turns out good. Let's shake it up a little bit. Oh, that's a good look. I'm gonna use some duct tape on the white part so we don't get any paint splatters on there. Let's try getting some pink paint on the front. I'm gonna do a big triangle. Get some little squigglies on here. We're going for the I Spy series LOL house kind of design. Let's get some teal paint on this part. Some really pretty shimmery teal paint. You guys were probably thinking, what is Cupcake on about? Cause she has no LOLs on these shoes. How are these LOL shoes? Well, here we go. We're gonna add our little LOLs to the background we have right now. And it's gonna be a special one. I'm gonna keep painting and then you guys guess in the process who it's gonna be. I'm sure you guys have guessed her already. If you guessed Baby Next Door, you got it. Hello, it's me, Baby Next Door. Oh, I'm getting my own shoes. Wow. As you guys can see, Baby Next Door's eyes are a dark blue color, kind of like a purplish blue. So I'm gonna try to get that on her shoes. And also, I've gotta try to get her glasses on here somehow. She's got these cute little glasses, and you can see them on her little sticker. Hopefully we don't mess up her face. With the pencil, I'm gonna draw in her body now. Yeah, that's not working out. So let's go ahead and paint it in, and hopefully I don't mess it up. She's got blue straps for her overalls. And she's got purple little buttons that I'm gonna put on with some 3D paint. I'm gonna wait for her paint to dry, then I'm gonna go in with my fine tip fabric marker and do the details of her little overalls. In the meantime, I think we can do the little squigglies of her shirt. Since I'm not doing any more spray painting, I'm gonna take the duct tape off of the sole of the shoes 
Oh no, looks like some spray paint leaked through. Maybe we can wipe that down with a little bit of soap and water. With the tape off, now I know how much space I have to work with. That way, maybe we can draw in her legs too. Now in the triangle right here, I want to write something really special for baby next door. So we can't fit baby next door, I'm going to put B, D, N for baby next door. Kind of like how MC Swag writes everywhere. And let's do a small LOL logo right over here. Now with some gold paint, I'm gonna trace around these words. All right, so we're done with the first shoe. We're gonna move on to the next shoe. Yep, we're doing this whole thing all over again. All right, so I've already went ahead and covered the sole of our shoes with some duct tape. Pretty much everything else is gonna be the same. I did this wrong! Oh no! I put baby door next instead of baby next door! No worries, we can fix that up! You guys probably caught that right when I was painting it. You guys are so smart. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad you caught that! Cupcake's so silly! Back to our new shoe. New shoe, new shoe. I'm gonna add another layer to the yellow part. I'm gonna add some 3D fabric paint to this part, just like we did with the other shoe. Now with this shoe, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay or not, but I wanna try something a little different. I'm gonna use that same teal paint, the 3D paint, straight from the tube onto this part and see if it's gonna stay 3D. It might flake off once it's dry, but it might stay because it's fabric glue, so it should cling on to the fabric. Now the big mystery, who are we gonna get on this shoe? Let's just go and find out. Have you guys guessed her yet? If you're thinking a little baby next door, then you are right. And on her sticker, she actually doesn't have an outfit on, but we know that little baby next door is one of the first little LOL sisters has a full outfit on. And that's even before she color changes. So that's pretty new. I'm gonna give a little baby next door a speech bubble. And on the inside of her speech bubble, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide what I should write in there. It'll be like our own little craft project together. Up here in the right corner, I'm gonna put a survey, you guys can click on it, and I'm gonna have three responses, either unbox me, surprise, or just LOL. You could either vote those three, or in the comment section, let me know what you guys think I should write, and the one I see the most is the one I will put in here. Our little sister's saying something, Something, but we just don't know it yet. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to dot our little sister's eye. Boop. We can also dot baby next door's eyes.
All right, now it's safe to take off our tape. Ooh, that is a clean looking sole. All right, so here goes our LOL shoes, but it's missing one thing, shoelaces. We're not gonna put just any old shoelaces on them. We're gonna use special shoelaces. These are so, so pretty. I think they'll look really nice on our new LOL shoes. Okay, so here is the final look. We've got our super cool LOL shoes. This one's just a little more colorful than this one, but that is totally okay because they are custom DIY shoes. They're definitely gonna have some differences, but that's just what's gonna make them totally unique. Moving on to the LOL bow, and it's got an elastic, so it's not one of those clippy ones. For the head bow, I'm gonna spray it with some of our fabric spray paint, just like our shoes. Now let's add some yellow triangles. And maybe we could put some LOL signs on here. And how about we get some hearts on here? Oh, and I also forgot we can put some of our little water surprise faces on here. Well, it's the end of our show. We've got our super cool LOL shoes with Baby Next Door and Little Baby Next Door. We've added a whole bunch of I Spy series LOL cool 80s designs to match the theme of the new series. And our little baby next door is saying something in her speech bubble. Don't forget to leave in the comment section and vote in the poll what you think we should put in her speech bubble. Baby next door is saying BND was here, kind of following MC Swag's little theme. And we've also got a super cool kind of tie-dye looking LOL head bow with our LOL charms on there some triangles and hearts and our little water surprise. And we've also got our LOL surprise logo. So everything is colorful and kind of matchy matchy with our Instagol t-shirt. Let me know what you guys think about our custom LOL shoes and our LOL bow. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. And until next time, I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.